Welcome to the next part of our training a program where we are playing around with the jelly scenes. In this part of the training, I would like to make what I call following lights. So what I mean by following lights is, for example, if you have some lights of, on one side of the house and some lights on the other side of the house, they are both equipped with a jelly device, but they are not connected together with the same supply. So what we want to do now is to make a scene so when one side of the house is uh, turning on the lights, the other side of the house will also turn on the lights. This is a very typical use case and I'm getting this question almost every day by installer. So let me show you how this could work. So first of all, let's go to the room where we have our lights. Uh, in this case, we will try to make an automation that says when the dimmer is turned on, we would like the light uh, number two to be turned on as well. When the dimmer is being turned off, we would like the relay to turn off as well. So basically, the Shelly uh, 1 p.m. mini will follow the Shelly dimmer generation three. Uh, what we have to do is to go and add a new scene. Uh, we have to add a win condition. I would like to uh, base my win condition on the output. Uh, you can base it on the input and the output state. Uh, I prefer to make the solution based on the uh, output state of the dimmer. So it's device based. We go to our living room. We will find our uh, dimmer here. Press next. And we would like to choose the output state here. And in the first scene, I would like to say when Shelly is turned on. Press next. It's a trigger. So what we do here is saying when our dimmer is being turned on, we want our relay to be turned on as well. So that's it. Press next. And uh, then select the do. Press add action. Now we have to find our relay, our Shelly 1 p.m. mini and we have to tell it to turn on as well. Press next, there's no delay, press save, and that's basically it. So now we just have to press next, active time all day long. Uh, we want to enable the scene, we don't want to execute it. Press next, we, have to, we want to place it inside the living room, and press next, give it a name. Let's call it, um, when dimmer turns on, turn on the relay. Let's select the green color because we're turning on something. Press save. Um, so hopefully now when I will be turning on my dimmer, let's go to our living room and check. When I'm turning on my dimmer, our relay should turn on as well. Let's try it. Yeah, it does. But when I turn off my dimmer, my relay does not turn off. So I need to make one more scene that will make it turn off as well. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go to the scenes tab here and let's create a new automation. Once again, we will find our dimmer. So when our dimmer uh, turns off, then we want our relay to turn off as well. Press add condition. It's a device based condition. Uh, let's find our dimmer right here. It's the output state we are changing. Turn off, press next. It's a trigger condition. That's it. So when our Shelly dimmer is being turned off, we want our Shelly 1 p.m. to turn off as well. Press next. We have to now find our Shelly 1 p.m. relay. Next, turn off relay. There's no delay. Press save. That's it. Let's uh, let's jump directly to the details uh, here and give it a name. When dimmer turn off, turn off relay. Give it a picture. I like to give it a red color because we're turning off something. That's it. Once again, when you press the the color or the picture of the device, you will get a quick overview of your automation, so you can quickly see what is actually happening. How is this automation working? Uh, so it should work now as we want, as we intended. So let's see if I am turning on my dimmer now. 
Uh, let's see if, yeah, now our lights turned, uh, our relay turned on as well. If I'm turning off my dimmer, our relay is turning off as well. And it goes super fast. Uh, it happens almost immediately. Uh, it is happening super fast. Um, I, and of course, if I if I trigger my Shelly uh, dimmer from the uh, wall switches here, it works uh, exactly uh, the same way. So this is uh, this is perfect. Now we solved this small challenge with the uh, Shelly scenes. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. Uh, looking forward to the next training video.